Yes, it's crazy hair. Crazy hair day. How are you guys? Whoa, that's a straight up. That's a straight up one. Hello, 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 hello. See if anybody pops on. Let me. Who's doing the end of the month hustle? Who is working their business? Let me, um, I know I'm on late tonight, so let me just, um, this one's gonna get me. Come on. Um, so who is hustling tonight? We have major crazy things going. So, um, yeah, like, oh my gosh, there's so much going on. So much leaving us, which makes me sad. So much stuff that's, uh, that you can take advantage of getting, take advantage of it all. Grab it. When they give you out, um, sorry guys, when they give you um, presenter perks and things like that, girlfriend, go after those perks. Don't leave all this money on the table. They're gifting it to you. Go get it. Um, if you need ideas, you know, you can always search in Lilas. There's go to the search box. Go for tips. Go for sales tips. Um, I always put things in there. You know, you can search words, keywords, and all kinds of stuff pops up. I know I posted about the Cinderella challenge tonight. I have done that challenge. I posted that a whole bunch of times. There's other sales tips you can use too. Um, so whatever it is, do it, work it. Don't overuse it though. Um, so like, you don't want to do Cinderella every time at the end of the month because then your customers are going to expect it and you want it to be more authentic. Um, so yeah, if this is what you're going for and you're, you're going for something big, do it. I will tell you this. Um, hey guys, I see a bunch of you guys are popping on and saying hi. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come say hi to all you guys in just one quick sec. Um, but one thing I recommend you doing right now, honestly, like when you hang up with me, or, well, don't hang up with me yet. Don't hang with me yet. Stay with me right now. Stay with me right now. Um, but when you get off of this live with me, go post a picture. And I'm not big on, on posting um, pictures of the presenter's kit because I don't want to pull people in my business. Um, I used two years ago, and I've just changed. You know, like I want to have quality over quantity. Um, but you never know. People, they decide to get the kit, and then they end up becoming a business owner like me. But um, it is end of the month, and it is a huge deal of, of product, and uh, there's free shipping, and people love free stuff. So I would post a picture of that kit, especially if you guys are, are yellow status presenters, and you're trying to get that yellow perk, you need to have a sponsorship, right? You need to sit here and sponsor somebody. So this would be an opportunity for you to share that kit and say, Something very simple. Don't go into a long thing. Don't talk about the business all the way. Just say, I can't believe you can get $294 in makeup for $99. Or this is the most amazing deal. You know, or this is the best $99 I've ever spent. You know, something very short and catchy, you want to do that. Um, you want to grab people's attention and you want to take that. You want to take that post when people respond, and hopefully they will, you wanna take it private because you wanna start a conversation with people. If you just answer their questions in the comments, it's easy for them to be one and done. If you take it privately, you can chat with them. Don't word vomit, don't sit here and go into all the details of the business, answer what they ask. If they say, tell me about it, say, please let me know what, you're, what, you know, what is it that you'd like to know, I'd be happy to help you. Let them ask you the questions. It helps you not word vomit as much. Um, but they don't need to know about Derek and Melanie, um, straight off the top, unless they ask you, they don't need to know about like everything. They only know about the comp plan, all that stuff, you know, um, because maybe they're going to be a hobbyist. They, if they're a hobbyist, they're really not going to care about all that other stuff, you know, um, and there'll be a time for that. And we're going to work on what to do with your people once you sponsor them so that you feel more secure as a leader. We're going to work on that in the next week. Um, but anyway, let's talk about hashtags. I didn't go back into all this for no reason. And let me say hey really quick to who is on or who I think is on. I see that we've got a, quite a few people. Um, hello, Suzanne. Jessica. Jessica is killing it this month, guys. She's killing it. She has blossomed. I said this. I know I said this last week, and I'll say it again. I'm going to say it again until I'm blue in the face from it because I'm so freaking proud of her. Um, she's going live. She's posting every day. She's being inspirational. She's making a difference in people's lives, and it is showing because she has right now over a thousand dollars we've been chatting she shared with me as she's getting sales tonight um she is having the best month she ever has she's over a thousand dollars in sales this month i mean she's killing it she's absolutely killing it um 
So yeah, it's amazing. So good, good job, girl. Um, hey, Cindy. Hey, Janine. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> my hairstyle. You guys like my hairstyle? I did this at like nine o'clock this morning. I had my hair down and I was like, you know what? I am not feeling, this is not my personality today. My personality today is going to be a water spout. So that's what I do. Sometimes I looked, you know, it's funny because I look at some of my old pictures and I say old, like in the last year, and I have lots of little different hairstyles. <laughs> I didn't realize how much I do my hair different ways. Um, let's see here. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Carla. Hey, Cynthia. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for joining. Hey, Carl. I think I said Carla already, right? Hey, Courtney. Um, okay, so let's chat, chat really quick about hashtags. Um, hey, Shirley. Let's chat about hashtags. Um, bye, girl. Hashtags. Okay, so one of the things I learned over the weekend has to do with hashtags. And I know a lot of times um, we always want to hashtag it, whatever the product is. You want to hashtag, you know, um, if you're using, you know, mascara, beauty, makeup, you know, things like that. The problem with that, if you've ever looked at your hashtags, if you like, especially at Instagram where you can see how many people have posted hash using those hashtags, um, you're talking millions and millions and millions. So if somebody were to actually go onto Instagram, and I'm talking about Instagram right now, but you can also use it with, because we use hashtags with Facebook, you just don't use as many as you do on Instagram. Um, but if you were to go into Instagram and you were to type in a hashtag, just hashtag for say makeup, you know, you're going to end up, somebody is going to like, say, I want to look at makeup. So they type in makeup, right? And there is going to be whatever you posted, like probably a minute ago is so far down in the little search thing because so many people use the hashtag makeup. Okay. So we want to get a little bit more creative with that. And what you want to do it, cause the, the, the whole thing is you're wanting to pull people into you. You're wanting to pull people into wanting to see your stuff, wanting to see your posts. So you want to get people that are like-minded, that have the same interests as you. And sometimes the pictures don't even have to have anything to do with the hashtag um, because what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to connect. So a couple of things, one thing you always want to do is you want to hashtag your location, not necessarily exactly where you're at, but like I live in Winter Garden, I'm going to hashtag Orlando um, because Orlando is like popular and big, you know. Um, but you want to hashtag that because anytime somebody pulls up Orlando, you know, and they're flipping through stuff, they're going to see, you know, they might come across my, um, they might come across my posts. Uh, but let's go a little bit more into a little bit more deeper into that. So you want to go into things that, that you're interested in, um, which is something that really, really was cool. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to think about your 10 favorite um, 10, 10, 10 things that describe you. Okay. We're going to do a couple things here. So like, think about, um, like a favorite word you use. Think of a, um, your favorite music group. Think of your, um, if you love to read, think of, um, your favorite author, uh, or your favorite, um, brands. Like if you like a certain brand, like I forever used to wear Hollister, like all the time, like all the time. Um, so if Hollister was my thing, then I would hashtag Hollister. Um, so what happens is, is when you use hashtags that um, are about like favorite things, you will connect, you're gonna pull people into your post that have similar things and they're gonna wanna connect with you. They're gonna look at your stuff and you're gonna be like, oh man, this chick's kinda cool. Let me follow her, let me friend her, let me see what else she has to offer. So um, that's one thing I learned that was really a cool, like eye-opening thing because like I'll sit here and post something on Instagram. This thing's driving me crazy. Um, I'll sit here, ooh, that just got worse. Um, I'll post something on Instagram and if it's like say my eyes or something and I'll do like, I'll do eyes, I'll do makeup, I'll do blue eyes, I'll do, uh, which blue eyes isn't too bad because I don't know how many people do that, but um, you know, like I'll do like eight different very lashes, long lashes, like all that. And your, your pictures are just going to get lost. They're just going to get lost. You want to stand out. So find things that people are going to connect. When you connect to people, you have a better chance of getting sales because I'm going to be honest with you guys. People are not necessarily buying the product. I mean, they are buying the product, but they're buying the product from you because they connect with you, because they like you, because they trust you. They value what you say. They love your passion. Um, that's people buy from people. They don't buy, you know, they're not buying just because of the product. Um, so 
um, make sure you do that. Also, um, another thing, when you are using products, say you have, um, say you're putting your makeup on, okay? And say, I'll just use Hollister again just because um, I used it a second ago. So say I'm, I'm wearing a Hollister shirt, right? So I'll do my other hashtags and then I'm, gonna, I'm going to tag, like especially on Instagram, um, but I'm pretty sure I could do it on Facebook too. Um, I'm going to tag Hollister, the company, in my picture because then what happens is, is Hollister will see it. Um, and anybody that goes to Hollister's page and looks or pulls up, they're going to see your picture. So then you connect with even more people, you know, which is really cool. Um, or if you have other brands, like if there's a shoe brand, um, like I like a lot of shirts from Live Love Shop, you know, the little graphic tees and stuff. Um, so if I'm wearing a Live Love, Live Love Shop shirt, if I tag Live Love Shop, especially like these smaller boutiques, um, you never know that you might get featured. Um, they may post your picture on their page and you have instant access to more people. So you want to tag like brands that you're wearing um, in your pictures so that that way you never know. And I I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of these, um, a lot of our wise sisters that are, are wearing the glasses um, and they're become brand ambassadors from that. A lot of this comes from that too. So, um, so like I wear diff sunglasses a lot. Um, so I would tag the company diff, um, uh, when I wear them that way it, they notice it, it comes on their page, they get notification of it. Um, they may or may not decide to feature me or they might use my picture or something like that. I did that actually once before with unique foundation. This was, um, Gosh, probably two years ago, Bubba and I had worn um, shirts, Defend Innocence, and his was, um, I think it was No More One and Four. Um, and we had taken a picture and we posted on Instagram and I tagged the Unique Foundation. And the next thing you know, they featured us on their page, um, which was cool. Like, I didn't expect it. It wasn't what I did it for, but it was kind of cool. So you could kind of take that and use that in your business um, and you just can reach more people that way. So that is my... Um, that's my tip for today. I'm gonna to try to give you guys little tips. I'm gonna to try to do it in small nuggets. That way it's not overwhelming, because believe me, you don't want 22 hours of what I just went through. As awesome as it is, it's, it's truly information overload. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of break down little tips for you guys. Um, I wanna to try to put together, I think I'm gonna do it Wednesday, I think. I have to look at my schedule because it's a little crazy right now. Um, but I think I'm gonna to try to put together a Zoom on Wednesday, a Team Zoom on Wednesday night. Um, so I want to go a little bit more into detail on some of the things that I want to be working on for May. Um, so if you guys want to join on, let me know. And if you guys have any questions, as always, make sure you comment below. Um, send me some love. Do whatever it takes to get me back because I love the love from you guys. Um, but anyway, all joking aside, um, yeah, that's it. So I hope you guys have an awesome night. Keep kicking butt. Keep kicking butt. Finish strong. Finish strong, start tomorrow stronger. Um, this is going to be an amazing summer. I really feel it's gonna be an incredible summer. And I really feel like we are going to be taking this team in huge places that we've never gone before. Um, and in order for this team to go into huge places that we've never been before, that means you are gonna go into places you've never been before. And that's what I want. I want this team to be super successful. I want you guys to be incredibly successful. And I want you guys to do and go and have everything that you want in life. And I want to try to give you every tool I can um, to get you there. So I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you guys have an incredible night. And I will talk to you later. Stay awesome, guys. Bye.